there and welcome to the little apartment on the prairie. Today Isaac and I did an art project and I'm going to show you what we did. Um, basically it's a technique you can use to have your dog or a cat um, make a painting and I think it turned out pretty cool and I'm going to show it to you. So here you go. What you do is you put blobs of paint on a canvas. So I just picked different colors and kind of plopped them on there. And then you put it inside a plastic bag, like a garbage bag, whatever bag, you know, will fit your canvas. And I want to try really hard not to like smear it on the thing. Come here, Isaac. And then what you do, so you've got it in there, and in the instructions a friend sent me, they were using um, just peanut butter to put on it, but I mix some plain Greek yogurt with peanut butter, and I'm just going to put some, I'm just kind of putting the yogurt, you know, blobs of yogurt on top of the plastic bag so that it's going to require lots of licking to eat the yogurt. I'm trying to make sure I get yogurt kind of evenly spread out, but I don't want to spread it like spreading peanut butter with a knife. So I thought mixing it with yogurt would let me kind of put blobs of it. So here we've got this plastic bag over the canvas with blobs of yogurt on it. And now we're going to go in the other room and put it on the floor and let Isaac lick. And one of the blobs of yogurt because, you know, got to take a pill. And now he's just going to lick it and smear the paint around. I'm not sure I put enough paint to let it like get smeared really good, but we'll see. It's going to depend on how much licking he does, I guess. I'm going to do smaller paintings, I think, like maybe half this size with the cats. Did you eat your pill? There's a good boy. He did eat the pill. He's so good about taking pills. Whiskers, would you like some yogurt? I'm going to let Whiskers lick the yogurt. What did I do with the yogurt dish? Here, come here, Whiskers. You can lick the yogurt out of the bowl. Come here. Come here. Um, the friend that told me about this idea, well, she sent me like a little video about somebody doing it with their dog. And this was before I found out that Isaac had lymphoma. So I was thinking it seemed like a good idea anyway. But then when I found out that he was sick, I just thought what a great idea to have a painting that he made for me. <sighs> he stuck his foot on the canvas to hold it down. And for a minute I thought, oh no, he's going to get paint all over his foot. And then I'm like, oh no, he's not because the, the canvas is in the plastic. I think I'm gonna, I want to make a paw print signature in the corner though. I'm not sure how washable this paint is. I might need different paint for it. Shoot, you know what? I forgot. I had some gold paint. I was gonna have little flecks of metallic paint in here too and I forgot that. Well, we'll see. I'm a little bit concerned that this red, white, and blue is like a Spider-Man motif. He went in there to see if there was more. Which there wasn't. Here, do you want to see if you got it all, bud? 
Oh, he's going to go lift the rest out of the bowl that Whiskers wasn't getting. I'm not sure this plastic, once, as soon as this paint starts to dry, it's going to really stick to it. Are you done, buddy? Apparently he's done. He's just licking the, the bowl that Whiskers ate yogurt out of. Okay, so let's see what our finished result looks like. And then we're going to go put it to dry in a room with a closed door so nobody such as Sassafras steps on it. So there's Isaac's painting. This was kind of the way I had in mind. Oh, you can kind of see his, where his footprint was. Like right here. You can, I can really see it in the computer. Awesome. I mean, I don't know which way you're going to decide you want to put it. Maybe it goes this way. I don't know. All right. Well, there you go. Anyway, I'm going to go put it somewhere to dry. Okay, so that's our project. If I figure out how to do a paw print, I have to make sure I've got washable, really easy to wash paint. So I can have him, you know, I can put paint, like black paint on his paw and then make a paw print in the corner. But uh, if I do that, if I figure out how to do it without making a mess and getting paint everywhere in my house, I'll show you. Hi, Whiskers. Um, otherwise, that's it for today. Well, also, I'll show you when I decide where I'm going to hang it up. I'll show you what it looks like hanging on my wall. Uh, but that's it for today. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And everybody, have a great day. Oh, and if you happen to do something like this with your pets, let me know how it turns out, okay?